Hello and welcome back to the shed. So this is my Victron system. When I say Victron system, I basically got a charge controller and a solar shunt. So it's not exactly a complete system, but you know it's it's getting there. And this is my Raspberry Pi that is uh, running Vino OS, which um, enables me to monitor it re remotely. And anyway, I'm rambling now. Getting on to that. So obviously this is a solar charge controller that's charging up all the batteries. Battery is down here battery and uh, it's end of November now and um, by the time I'm recording and this is what if I log into the Venus OS Victron app this is what I'm getting see here this area here and this area here this is where the state of charge got so low that it tripped the battery cutoff so the cutoff here is set to 21 volts of this 24 volt battery and it turned off the load in order to protect the battery but this is England 2022, when their risk of power cuts is quite high. So I don't want power cuts. So I want to keep this battery at a high state of charge, ready for the winter. And I don't want it to get this low. So there is a way around this, which I'm going to try now. So if you go into the, uh, what? So if we go into the Victron VRM and we can do our solar shed, is that doing that? What is going on? Can I do that? I can do that. Can I do that? I can do that. See, it's working. No, it's not. Why is it doing that? Oh, no. If we go into our VRM for Victron, of course, this works completely fine and never, ever goes wrong. You do devices, and these are my charge controller and solar shunt. Go into charge controller. And there's all my current setting, well, current state of things, so... All the loads in the shed are currently drawing 15 watts of power. That's everything. That's uh, routers, that aircraft tracker thing on the wall, um, another router tracker thing up there. Yeah, that's everything running at the moment, which isn't the lights. The lights are more. So uh, I won't show you. Well, actually, I can show you that. There you go. So smart to shunt. That's everything coming out of the battery. So currently we're drawing 36 watts of power and a 41% date of charge. So, uh, to keep this fully topped up, what I'm going to do is when the spinny wheel stops spinning, here we go. Uh, we've got these settings here, so we're going to go into load output. Now, I've currently got a user defined algorithm, and low cutoff is 21 volts, which means it will turn off everything in the shed at 21 volts, and it will turn it all back on at 22 and a half volts, and that will protect the battery. Or at least, you I mean, it will stop the BMS, because the BMS is in there, we're tripping. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've got to kind of go set to. But what I'm going to do is change this to battery life. And there we go. And it's gone into battery life. Apparently it takes two minutes to enable. So things are flashing. I've got lights flashing on it. So I think that's working. Yep. So battery life, apparently, from what I've read, will... It's meant for lead acid batteries. You don't need it for lithium ion phosphate normally because you can keep these at a low state of charge and nothing bad happens. But lead acid, you want to charge up at least once a week. So what this will try and do is get it to a state where you can charge up once a week by turning off the loads. So that's what I'm going to see if it does. I'm going to see if it keeps this state of charge higher. So I'm looking for these. Well, I'm seeing about 40% to be higher up now. Now, the weather in November is crap. And we're heading into December, shortest day coming up. So the solar level is going to remain crap. So we'll see if we can get the discharge, the um, state of charge up higher. So I'll have to report back shortly to see if it's done that. Do you know what I'm saying? To make it clear? Good. And if it works well, I will leave it in battery life mode. But I don't know. So that's the goal. That's the uh, intention. That's the experiment. So it's been changed. And I'll report back later. So for now, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, then well, why'd you watch it? Right, see you later. Bye for now.